Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the VFly Short Saver, a simple yet very useful device which might save you some money on your next build. In this video I'm going to go over its features, show you how to use it and conduct a couple of tests in order to demonstrate why you should definitely consider getting one, especially but not only if you build your own drones. First of all, let's understand the purpose of this product. On each side you can find XT60 and XT30 battery connectors. The VFly Short Saver is going to be powered up using one of the male connectors, and the device that you would like to test will be powered up using one of the female connectors. The battery connectors are connected in parallel, so it doesn't matter which one you're going to use, and the supported DC input voltage is between 7 to 25 volts, so you can power the Short Saver using between 2 to 6S batteries. Once powered up, a green LED is going to indicate that everything is normal, and in case of a short circuit, the output voltage is going to immediately drop to zero, saving your connected device, and the red LED is going to be turned on instead, indicating that something is wrong. Breaking the short circuit is not going to change anything, so in order to resume the normal operation, you'll need to unplug the battery from the short saver and power it again. In addition, next to the female battery connectors, you can find a switch that limits the output current to either 1 or 2 amperes. When the maximum output current is set to 2 amperes, the blue LED is going to be turned on. When it is going to be set to 1 ampere, it is going to be turned off. And in case the output current is going to exceed this value, the output voltage is going to cut off as well. So it is recommended to use 1 ampere for smaller drones and 2 ampere for bigger ones. You should note that the default cutoff times in case of a short circuit is 3 milliseconds and 10 milliseconds in case of overcurrent. And if you'd like to extend these durations, you can short the S pads or the N pads, which are located on the back side of the short saver. Now let's conduct a small test. I've connected this flight controller to the short saver, and right now, because everything is wired properly, after turning on the short saver, the flight controller boots up normally. As you can see, after soldering the battery connector to two VCC pads and reversing VCC and ground the fuse trips, and after soldering the battery connector properly, the flight controller boots up again, which is of course something that couldn't happen in case the short saver wasn't in use. Another good usage of the short saver is for testing things on the bench, and also for example while flashing the ECs, but while it works, I don't recommend to totally trust it, and always remember to remove the propellers, and only use it as a secondary safety measurement. You should note that the BEC of the flight controller is not protected by the short saver, so now I'm going to short the ground and the 5 volts pad on the flight controller, and as you can see, the flight controller turned off, however the short saver wasn't tripped. So in case you have doubts or you want to be extra safe, I recommend to use a multimeter tool and test the flight controller for continuity. So overall, priced at $12, in my opinion, this is definitely a must-have accessory that can potentially save you more than its price, and even though there are cheaper alternative, and also if you'd like you can build your own smoke stopper, this is a more portable and capable product that is well worth its price. My only complaint is that the short saver doesn't integrate a power switch, which is very helpful when binding radio receivers. I've talked to VFly about it, and hopefully they're going to integrate one on their next version. So that's going to be it for my quick review of the VFly short saver. And by the way, one more thing before wrapping up this video. Today I opened up my Patreon page and I'm going to post a separate video about it, but just to celebrate the occasion, I decided to give away two VFly short savers. In order to win one, you have to be quick and sign up for my Patreon page, and the first two that are going to sign to my Patreon page are going to get one. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.